Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Oscar. And together we are the Ginfluencers UK at, at Christmas. Christmas. Today we're trying this Warner's Christmas Cake Gin. Look at that bottle, Looking it's forward beautiful. To this. Warner's started in 2012 on a family farm. They basically became gin farmers. They wanted to make a, an epic 100% natural farm grown gin. They have a very interesting range of gins and you should really check them out. The recipe is inspired by traditional homemade Christmas cake. Sweet, rich and syrupy, uniquely distilled with real dark chocolate, ginger, juniper and festive spices. Then it's blended with cherry juice, their hand-picked slow gin macerate and pure treacle are then added. Other ingredients include black treacle, cinnamon, orange peel, nutmeg, plus a few secret ingredients. There's a lot going on in it's there. a lot. There really is. They, the recommended serve is over ice topped with Coca-Cola. <laughs> which has got, an, this has got an ABV of 40% and it's about 38 pounds for a 70 centiliter bottle. Okay, so let's get to it. We'll try it neat as always first. Yeah. So let's go. Are I you gonna have problems? No, no, I can see it's got little tags. They've done well there because I struggle well with some of these actually. He does. There we go. That is so easy. That's really anticlimactic. It's been the easiest one so far. There you go. You I'll get rid of that. Merry Christmas. That's my job. Very nice. <laughs> I always like to sniff it before you do. I hate that. Oh, look at the colour. Look at the colour of that. Beautiful colour. I'm pouring a little bit more in there because last time you moaned. God, that smells so strong. We'll let the alcohol dissipate a little bit. Ooh. Wow. Oh um, my goodness, that's... um. It's like a dessert wine. That's lovely. That's really, really That's nice. So sweet. I mean, if you get over the initial of alcohol, That's it's verging on like a sherry. Yeah, that's a dessert wine. This is lovely. This is really, really nice. Yeah, that could, that could be that could be drunk literally like that over ice. So we've been doing a few Christmassy <clears throat> ones and. Um, this is the most Christmas. This is, this is probably yeah up to the game now to a proper Christmas one. Mm. Wow. Yeah, that's nice. I get a lot. I get a lot of cloves in it. I get a lot of loads and loads of Christmas spices. Oh, it's very spicy. Mm. Yeah, this is the closest to Christmas so far out of all the ones we've tried. This is really lovely. I'm, I'm actually gonna try this later on just over ice. Do you know what? I don't know if, if Coca-Cola is gonna be too overpowering. They do recommend they, with, This is lovely as it is. Yeah, they do recommend with Coca-Cola. They also recommend it just, oh no, it's just over ice, isn't yeah. it, with Coke, isn't it? This yeah. is, yeah, this is lovely as it is. It really is lovely as it is. I, I love it. So far, I absolutely love it. It's got so much kind of richness, it's coating my mouth completely. It's it's got a, yeah. It, it's like a really good dessert wine. It, it's I'm not getting real, any dryness. I tell you what, there was a dessert wine that I used to get that we can't get anymore in this country um, from Australia called Buller's Fine Old Muscat, and this has elements of that. And that was a great dessert wine. That was a really great dessert wine. Okay, right. I tell you what, let's serve this as they wanted to with Coke. Right. So let's get to it. Brilliant.
So, cheers. 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 Yeah, that's lovely. It's completely drinkable. Mm. But I don't know if the Coca-Cola is just taken away from how good that was. This, I mean, yeah, you wouldn't even know you're drinking that. No, you would. You've got the ele you've got elements in it in the back. Well, no, actually, not even in the back. I think we need to try a little bit more. Which is boring for you guys because we're just tasting it. No, I like that. It's lovely. It's really, it's really cakey. good. It's cakey. It's really candy, kind <clears throat> of caramel. I get caramel. There's a. There is a See, slow the smell, element. To now it. the smell to me is like a proper Christmas cake. Mm. Right. It's it's one of those proper ones with raisins and cherries in it, and like the, the smell is. I'm getting. The I'm, smell is amazing. I'm getting slow. I'm getting some slow in there. It's lovely. Yeah, actually, I'm getting a taste now. It's really weird. The initial taste, I'll be honest, once you, because we had it neat and we really liked it neat, and then we tried it like this, I think the initial taste, you lose a lot. And as you start drinking it, all the levels start to open yeah. up a little bit. I think the problem is, is because that was like full fat Coke, mm. right, which I don't really like. <laughs> Ironic, really. Really? <laughs> okay. What's happened then? <laughs> I hate the taste of full fat cake. It's so sweet. Okay. Yeah, but I drink full fat. And I cake. think that's what's ruined it for me. Is it is it, it's it, I'm trying to get past the Coca Cola. Mm. So it might have been better to have like Coke Zero for me. For you, maybe. Yeah. But now, now I'm getting a cake. It I'm tastes loving it. like a cake. It's I'm loving, loving it. it. It's lovely. I'm loving it because I'm getting those those kind of feelings I got when I taste it neat of kind of dessert wines, um, sultanas, raisins, yeah. currants. You get all that kind of really kind of dehydrated, rich, sugary fruit. <laughs> the smell is amazing. Yeah. The smell is literally like a Christmas cake. Right? I, I used to get cakes uh, when I was young. We used to get cakes made over in Ireland my, for my, my mother's family. And they'd home make them and send them over to here. And that's exactly what that smells like. When we used to open the tin box, and have a cake in it, and we cut it open, and that is the smell. This is amazing. But that's that's what Christmas is about. All those kind of memories, those mm. old memories and stuff. And actually, you made a very valid point. Yeah, there. and it's I, reminded me of going back many years now. And is that not such a warm and lovely feeling? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So the fact that I remembered, wanted to remember something like that. Yeah, this is this is a proper Christmas cake. It's lovely. It's lovely. Again, elements of ginger. The more I'm, the more I'm drinking it, the more kind of cakey it's becoming as well. I um, think it should have been, it would have been better in a long glass, a tall highball. Blame me for that. It's fine. Yeah, it doesn't need to be in one of these. Yeah, this is really good. A highball. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've had a few gins already, <laughs> if you can tell. Yeah. Thumbs up to this one. Warners, I love this. Yeah. I absolutely love this. There is a <clears throat> big, big range that they do. Um, and I like, if you go on their website, it was, their website was really interesting, you know, about their kind of farming, you know, taking over a farm and doing it all and kind of wanting to produce kind of really natural and, and good things and, and flavorful things as well. Um, it was, it's great packaging that this came in yes, as well. It's lovely, we ordered it directly lovely. from them. Yeah, and it comes really, in a lovely printed box yeah. and everything. Really good. And I was like, when I opened the box, I was like, oh, that's lovely. Look what the printing inside there. And it, it was really, really nice. It was a really nice touch. Um, I love I love this. Yeah, I'm, I'm more than happy to this. have this. I'm glad we have this in our collection. Um, yeah, may even buy a second bottle just to make uh, sure we do don't you know run what? out of this. I, 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 I don't think maybe, I think we will buy a second bottle because yeah. I don't think this is going to last long because I'm I'm going to drink a lot of this neat. This, yeah, this is, this is so far, I think this has been the best representation of a Christmas gin. Let's score we've it. Had. Let's Oof. score it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, right, we're going on Christmas gins as opposed to kind of gins. Oh, ri oh right, okay. As Christmas gins go. So what yes. Yeah. Right, go. 
Oh, <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> well, I, I was not going to score that lower than that because this is the best representation. This is lovely. It's great. Ten. Ten. <laughs> yeah, it's a ten. Yeah, I love it. I absolutely love it. Yeah, it's lovely. It what really I love is. about it is I can drink it neat. I'm going to try it with a tonic as well. I'm going to try it with a tonic. I think. See, I, 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 I would try. I, I'm going to try it with Coke Zero. Yeah. Right, just just because okay. the fact of like, it's Coca Cola is far too sweet for me. But if I like it like this, you know, I may not like it with Coke Zero. It's maybe the sugar that's added into it. What about I don't with know. dandelion and burdock? No, I hate dandelion and but burdock. But you, you did know. like dandelion and burdock with a dandelion, dandelion, dandelion and burdock gin that we tried before. Yeah, but I don't know. I'm I'm happy to stick with Coke, which is what they recommend. We just decide where it should be full fat or thin. But yeah. See, we, what, we, what we like to do is when, when we get a gin and we kind of, we look at their recommended serve, their perfect serve, and we kind of tend to go for that. And then we kind of get twists on it ourselves. And we've tried a lot of gins. I mean, currently we're, we're sitting on about 750 gins. Yeah, not include, and that doesn't include the liqueur yeah. gins. We don't, we don't include take us past liqueurs. 800 yeah. easily. So we, we've got quite a few. Um, <clears throat> and we keep on looking past you because they're actually yeah, there. Yeah, that's why, if, if, there, you, if you wonder here, why we kind of look there. over to different areas, it's because they're right behind you and they're this side and they're that if side as well. If you go onto well. our Instagram, you'll see photos there. Yeah, there, there's lots of photos there. Mm. But yeah, it's, um, it's lovely. It's lovely, I'm glad we have this. Yes, we will get another bottle of this, definitely. Yeah. Um, it's a great Christmas drink. We were, on Christmas Day, we will be trying this with other people. Yeah, we'll be a, having this in, in, our, our, social in bubble. our social bubble. In social yeah, bubble. Social bubble. Um, and I'm sure they're gonna love it. If you're not a gin drinker, um, or you know non-gin drinkers, as we all do, you know, those, those narrow-minded people, um, they're gonna love it. They're gonna really, really love it. And um, it's great. I, it's I, just, great. I just really it's love this. It's really good. Warners, this has been my favourite Christmas gin I've tried so far. I'm, I'm really glad that these guys have done it because um, they're, they're, at the fat, you know, a, a nice distillery. They're, they are a true independent. Not yeah. one of the ones <clears throat> masking as a family distillery that are owned by big corporate. They are, they are, a, you know, they're, they're, they're good guys. Yeah. And, and well done. Um, have a lot of time for people like this. Yep. They've, they've taken the chance, they've, they've had a risk of making some flavours and it's great. It really is good. Really happy with this. So if you've tried it, um, let us know what you think. Pop a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next Chris Christmas video. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Cheers. There you go.